what's up everyone I am back with another astrology video and I want to talk about Sun in the 10th house so as I am driving to work I guess it's fitting to be talking about this placement because uh, this is similar to Sun in Capricorn the go-getter sign the goat the business sign the the sign that represents legacy, the sign that represents status, um, money, power, wealth, being an entrepreneur. That is what this zodiac sign represents. And so when you have your son in this uh, placement, it's you can basically call it the same thing as having um, son in Capricorn, son in the 10th house. So what are these people like? <clears throat> well, you are taking your solar energy, your vitality, your actions, your ego, and you are now placing it within um, things relating to status, things relating to uh, legacy, things related to um, just business type things in general. So these people tend to act on these things. These people tend to these people tend to have their egos wrapped up in these things as well. So people with sun in the 10th house, they might not feel um, proud of themselves if they don't have the things that um, make them seem like they have a high status in society. So if they're driving a bummy car, you know, or they don't have a nice house, they won't feel like they, they won't feel like their ego is being stroked, they will feel less than because of that. Um, and if that's not the case, then these people can, you know, deal with that and just really work hard towards getting what they need anyway. So, but at the end of the day, they're either A, working hard to get there, or B, dealing with the fact that they don't have that and, and feeling ashamed about it, feeling depressed because they don't have it. So, like I said, these are these are the actions of these people. They they act on these things. So at any time that they are attempting to do something, they always keep in, keep in mind, will this improve my status? Will this be something that I can show to the public to show how, how far I've come in my life? Um, will, this, will this in some way allow me to show off my, my career, you know, my career of choice? Everything is like, you know, no offense, but these are the type of people that like to take photos in front of expensive cars and pretend that it's theirs, even though it's not. This is the lower end of it. The higher end is just they actually own that car or they own that property and they are taking photos about it and they are showing everybody it because they are very proud because the sun is your pride. That's your prideful energy. So. Um, these are these are the type of actions that you will witness them having. Their fathers could have been very business oriented type people, um, very status based people, or their fathers probably oftentimes, or if not their fathers, the masculine figures or just the fatherly type figures in their lives often, um, you know, stress the fact about status, the importance of having a high status in society, or stress the fact of, of leaving a legacy, saying, telling their children to you know, buy land. Make sure you leave a business for your children. Make sure you do this, that, and the third. And the reason why um, legacy is also attached to uh, Capricorn is because you do all this stuff in your status so that you can achieve a pinnacle level in your um, in your community, community and also your family so that you can now leave a legacy. And that's also connected to cancer because cancer is all about the family. So if cancer will take care of the family at the moment in time and make sure that everybody is taken care of emotionally, you know, emotionally taken care of, fed, housed, and then um, Capricorn is thinking about the long game. It's thinking about the practical things. It's thinking about where's the money gonna go? How do we pay the bills so that we can at least live a lavish life with our family? So that's why Capricorn and Cancer go hand in hand as being opposites. But this is what I uh, think about um, Son of the 10th House. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. One love.